Hey guys, Coach Kevin Leone, we're going to talk about squatting at home by yourself. So especially if you're by yourself, you don't have any spotters, depending on what power rack situation you have, if you have the ability to have safety pins, that's great. In general, things like uh, back squats and normal competition bench press, uh, I would be more cautious and train the squat and bench press more sub-maximally since you don't have a spotter. So leaving one, two, or even three reps in the tank just for safety. But what you can do is do some front-loaded squats, like a front squat, so if you do get in trouble, you can just dump it forward, and there's much less chance of injury. So we're gonna go over the front squat today. I typically like to do these with a higher heel, heeled shoe. So you can kind of see here that I'm wearing a heeled shoe, and you can even use something like a squat wedge, or place your feet uh, under some plates. That works out really well as well. So first we're gonna kind of go over the setup for the upper body. We want to drive the elbows up and in and get the, the bar right on our clavicle here. So we're going to come up and in and shrug the shoulders forward, just like that. And this is going to be a more straight up and down squat. You're going to have a bigger moment at the knee. We're going to have to drive the knees forward to start the lift, come all the way down, and then come back up. We're going to try to stay as upright as, as possible. So I'll show you what that looks in the bot, like in the bottom position. Most people are going to let their elbows drop too much. So right now I'm using a clean grip. So my knees are way forward. My elbows are up. We don't want to let them drop. So drive the elbows up and in. Push through the legs. So that's a great way that you can do a front squat at home. Again, driving the elbows up. Vertical torso, knees forward, heels elevated. Um, again, if you get in trouble, you can just dump it forward. So that's a consideration for training the squat at home. I would use more vertical torso, front loaded positions uh, for the squat. Uh, so the front squat's gonna be a great option for training the squat pattern at home.